welcome back so in this video we're going to clarify something the this video the last video the cloud formation video when i made that video uh we could not find the rds and i don't know what else uh, there was another error but uh, for the rds i assume that maybe it's a local instance just like uh, when you're installing it uh, testing on your uh, home computer so that is indeed the case let me show you so over here i think then when we are uh, running from the template it's saying local database and there are other instances stacks where you can have a rds database or you can highly available multi easy easy so i'm gonna try it again and then if it's the case we don't find the rds instance then we'll go on uh, into our instance ec2 and we'll check where that uh, database is so let's go and try that again we're gonna go into cloud formation we're gonna create a stack we're gonna template sample template and for the sampler template we're gonna create the wordpress blog ah it does actually say look my with the local mysql database for storage hmm and for multi easy i think we were using this one rds database instance for storage i'm gonna go with this one and let's see what's happened so that is the local one that the database will be on your ec2 instance and this one this one should uh, get you an rds instance as well it should provision it so let's go next stack name we're gonna call it word press zero to second attempt for the database allocated storage i think 5 gb is good enough db t2 ah db class okay now we have something different okay so i'm gonna call it uh imran wp let's copy it over wp password wp user and for the instance type we have t2 small so it's a little bigger than micro we can go to let's uh for the key pair i'm going to use the third key uh, you should have that key already made oh, because it will list over here it will only list that's the key pairs that are already in your uh, aws console <coughs> this one is a, a multi easy database if you want your database to be available uh, in different availability zone so for this is false but you know you get the picture that if you turn it on it will create more instances copies <clears throat> we're gonna keep everything same and id vpc id maybe this one virtual private compute Let's see if uh, we don't select it what happens ah, it's already been selected okay next next we go for the tags we can leave everything default oh, we just want to quickly run it and see what happens so we have an error here it says that the db password policy is failing i'm gonna go and fix that for that let's go to edit here and for the db password um let's keep it We are at the review and create stack all right so create in progress i'm going to pause the video here once it's uh, up and running we will go and check it out it's been a couple of minutes i'm just gonna refresh this and see if uh, roll back roll create in progress so it's still uh, doing its thing i let's uh, pause the video again oh uh, wait it says rollback in progress that's today's date 
Something did not go right. Parameter validation fail. Subnet does not exist. Rollback requested by user. Rollback complete. Ah. So, this is another fail. Let's go actually go to block formations, create stack. <coughs> and this time we are going to, let's copy just this. See, db user, stack name, wordpress03. Instance type t2 small, key name is going to be third key. And this time I'm going to use uh, this. Ah. ah, okay, 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 okay. So we chose VPC ID, but we never chose the subnet. That's why. If I leave this blank, see, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens to create stack. In progress, again, we have to give it maybe a couple of minutes, probably create in progress right here so I was missing this one I'm gonna pause the video again all right so it looks like yet another rollback happened so let's go and what happened parameter subnet okay so we, ha we have to select that subnet unfortunately uh, probably that's what it is so let's go create stack with new resources and wordpress yeah wordpress next copy this same key name is going to be third for the subnets let's do it this 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 and for the vpc id what will happen if i don't select the vpc I'm gonna select it anyway stack name is required okay WordPress 04 let's go and give it a couple of minutes this time too to find out I'm gonna pause the video again so it's been a couple of minutes and uh, it's still saying create to create in progress so Pretty sure that was the issue i'm going to restart uh, refresh it here and create in progress create complete create in progress so it's still going up let's pause the video here and wait for it to finish all right so it's been uh, a few more minutes let's uh, it's still saying create in progress i'm going to still refresh it so i believe it's still going on user initiated so it's uh, 8 13 it's still going on all right so it's been quite a few minutes let's uh, refresh it again and it's still in progress wow that's uh i wonder what uh, <laughs> we are what has been creating for us okay it's uh, start at 8.13, it was created in progress and it's 8.27 now. Let's uh, give it a few more minutes. Can I pause the video again? All right, so there is the green create complete. I'm gonna refresh it now. And I have the everything green complete. So <clears throat> since uh, everything is uh, uh, in green, so I should have a uh, working WordPress uh, server at my public IP address and I have an, should have an RDS instance. So let's go to pass to our EC2. There should be an EC2 running. I have one running. And it's up and running and you can see it's T2 small. For the database, uh, let's go here services. And database RDS, there should be one RDS instance this time, unlike the last time uh, in the other video. I have a database instance 1 over 40 and you can see that uh, it's running 
dbt too small. So let's go and uh, back to my EC2 instance. And let's go to its public IP address. <coughs> Get to the public IP address, should be this one. And remove the S, secure. It, um, oh, it will ask me to go and actually, uh, I believe. It will ask me to go to the uh, configure it so we'll do that later on so let's go here stack name outpost uh, outpost uh, outputs okay and here is my link for my wordpress installation website url and it's taking a little bit time for this I believe what the issue is let me make sure about that so let's we are going to again EC2 in a new window let's check our uh, security security groups for this VPC 04 I don't know which one it's going to be uh, for the EC2 We'll check against the EC2 dashboard, EC2 running, this one, and the security group is running one is security groups uh, 533. Okay, so if we can see port 80 is allowed in bound rules. Okay, so this should fetch my WordPress. For some reason, it's not. HTTP at 80 is allowed. Add it. Ah, let's do it anywhere. Save. Now, let's run. And for the cloud formation, go it again. And I have my page here now so this is the um, test page but uh, for uh, to start your uh, the WordPress blog you actually have to go and configure it go to this uh, address and you will actually do the configuration you will upload this file and then it will you know you will put in your information what you want it to be and then it will start the installation if you have to install wordpress in the uh, like uh, older ways ftp and all those uh, you would know what to do in th at this location so if you want to see let's go actually uh, connect and we can actually try to go to this test page ah there was a problem setting up the instance connection that's strange very very strange So let's fire up the, I don't know why it's uh, doing, it's not connecting, SSH, SSH client. Hmm. <coughs> okay, stacks. This one is complete. Uh, 
outputs it's not doing anything for the resources everything db instance was created so this look good but in terms of the website is at http so that should work okay since it's uh, giving me a problem i'm gonna continue uh, with this troubleshooting now i believe so let's go here mm, our keys ec2 prime key pairs let's download this uh, third key i should have already so that's something generator all right so i'm gonna pause the video here session let's open ec2 slash user third key okay i'm in so i was unable to use the connect but i am unable to connect uh, through the putty line so if we can go to cd slash etc slash httpd slash conf dot d slash welcome oh no can we go to this yeah ls and we have the welcome dot configure we get cat welcome dot cnf and this is the file that you need to add it so you can now open it in nano text editor do the uh, settings and uh, Hmm, for the I still have to do the WordPress one. <clears throat> so those two they were aired out. Let's search.
so after doing a little bit of trial and error I'm gonna see if and I have the WordPress install page so if you're wondering this is what you need to do you have to actually go to slash WordPress and you will start your uh, uh, the WordPress uh, installation page I'm gonna give it a site date title let's call it uh, I I mean username let's give it uh, what, what was it WordPress DB WordPress DB password same thing WordPress DB it says week confirm use of week password I'm gonna give it my email address so we'll know if the email engine is working search engine visibility we can live with that don't save just go WordPress DB and any indication success great login let's log in now username WP WordPress DB probably success don't save I have the my WordPress instance uh, I'm very happy let's create a post and hopefully everything will keep working it's right now we are testing phase like we want to make sure that everything is working as intended hi I mean hi I am Imran let's publish it publish and I'm gonna just copy the this copy and private window open ah okay so the other thing is that you we have to uh, follow the instruction in this file so the people coming to my website when they're accessing this uh, HTML they can go straight to my WordPress blog so I have to figure out that as well so where's buddy it was uh, etc I believe slash uh, let's see what's in etc a ah, lot of stuff so I'm gonna go do that it's a uh, etc HTTPD conf d cd httpd slash conf dot d slash um, welcome dot conf not a directory yeah it should go to here and cat welcome dot com and I have this file okay location match option index is error document no index.html allow override directory alias So this line is important. Command out all the lines below. <coughs> Restore on upgrade. Hmm. Okay. So there is no default index dot page. How to cancel? Hmm. 
I believe it will be copying your this is going through command prompt we don't want to do that I'm gonna try something else I know I have a WordPress No such file directory. CD. Slash etc. It's a so WordPress is on my root wordpress and for the so where is the cd cd here ls No index HTML icon error. So where is this folder? So I've been doing trial and error a lot. I just had an idea. I just want to see if that is right or not. HTML. Let's see if I have a WordPress folder in here. Oh, yes. So the WordPress folder, that's what I was thinking. Basically, the uh, WordPress folder is in here. And uh, this all the files inside the WordPress should be at this location and that's what's happening so I can either point my blog to it but if you want to if I want my blog to be at the that IP address then I have to copy so let's try copy command uh, copy slash VR slash www HTML slash WordPress slash star Or recursive and we try to put it in HTML let's see it did or not permission denied ah. so now is the permission I can try to do this it now. copy and we go sudo something happened right I am an HTML directory list and I have everything here now if I go to my EC2 instance copy the IP address paste it in here and I have my blog at my 
uh, normal site. I'm glad uh, that we faced all this problem. We definitely learned a hell of a lot. So let me see if uh, uh, the only thing I searched while uh, pausing was how to view the hidden files. I was thinking maybe WordPress folder is uh, hidden, but not. So that was the uh, space uh, a dash a command. Uh, this one is uh, using the command command prompt. Uh, we we not want to care about that. This one is just the what the template looks like. So it looks like everything is working as intended. We have our blog and it's up and running and, uh, and uh, on an Amazon AWS uh, cloud formation. So I'm going to call this video another trial and error video. So we will try the other one with the RDS and we will actually see um, uh, without the RDS. This one was with the RDS. So we'll go and see run that and uh, we'll check it out and we'll actually go to our local folder see where that rds is being stored in our ec2 instance because in this one we know that it's being hosted separately uh, in the database rds instance like it's a special computer that has the uh, database running but in case of the other one actually the ec2 instance that we create will have the database as uh, well too so let's call this video i'm gonna uh, actually uh, before we call this a video let's go back to our cloud formation and delete it we don't need it right so we're gonna select it stack action is there a termination active so I guess uh, there is no termination. So we can only delete it. Delete WordPress 04, delete stack. Now delete in progress, so it will delete everything, all the resources that it provision, and uh, I will not be charged. Make sure if you are playing with this, you always delete your stacks coming by, by coming to cloud formation and deleting it from in from here even though if you know that yeah i have just one ec2 instance and just rds i can simply go and delete those don't because you want to do it properly just to make sure 100 percent that you will not be charged for you know just your pet projects uh, let's go and uh, wrap this video up if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i will see you in the next video yep so that there is the uh like uh, pseudo or you know um uh, not pseudo actually it's like a side confirmation that ec2 instance is gone that's why the uh the connection is uh, terminated but that's it all right see you in the next one